Well, good evening, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dewey Daily Events Worldwide. We are on March 20th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video for Morning Dew, your daily dew. And that sunspot definitely fired off. Some explosions today. An X flare is on its way. Class 2. Snap. Look at this thing. Just kind of came out of nowhere, too. Wow. Whoa, look at that shock wave right across the whole start. That's the most action we've seen in quite a while. And that is Earth facing, so please stay aware and prepared. We have some incoming space weather. And you could see that filament eruption snapping straight off of the off of the sun. Wow. Watch this plasma whip right in between the sunspots. And there it's not done. There's still more coming. So stay tuned to Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. And I'll be keeping you updated on this sunspot region. This is Earth facing, and it's not done. Wow. Here's another light. You can see a coronal hole in the middle of the two. And then they started working together for something. Ooh, crazy images coming out of it. Solar Dynamics Observatory. So we're just going to take a look here and see how this space weather is going to be affecting us and when. Looking at the space weather spiral here. So we're the little green dot on the right side there. Definitely two whips coming at us. As those sunspot regions have been fairly active this week. Some pretty intense space weather coming. So definitely... Clear skies tomorrow night, the night after. Parts of northern Alberta. Going to see a great aurora due to this incoming space weather. Just wanted to show you these sunspot regions I showed yesterday in the video, what they looked like. And you can see that dark blue, really big region. That dark blue region has disappeared. But the blue is now surrounding the yellow and the red. So definitely still some positive and negative action going on. Impressive. Very impressive. Let's look at the earthquakes the last 24 hours. Largest being this 6.3 in New Zealand, or sorry, Vanuatu, Luganville, Vanuatu, 119 kilometer depth. That's the largest earthquake the last 24 hours. But there was also a sizable earthquake in Turkey we're going to be talking about as well. And that happened late, or sorry, overnight, early this morning. Akapayam, Turkey at a 10 kilometer depth, 4.3 as well. Mid-Atlantic Ridge firing off a 5.0 today. 5.1 in Ecuador, 39 kilometer depth. South America and Chile, 4.4, .4, both 
fairly deep earthquakes, over 150 kilometers in deep and depth. Mexico ringing off as well, El Salvador. North America ringing off here in Nevada, 3.5, largest earthquake in North America, as well, 3.1 in Texas. Hawaii starting to get some activity again. We're going to have to keep an eye on Kilauea. It was around this time last year where she drained herself and then opened up again. So deepest earthquake last 24 hours is in Fiji, 493 kilometer depth. This is the last seven days for earthquakes. And the ring of fire is very active. And it's not just active, but it's spreading. This deep earthquake movement, you can see all around the world, it is on every plate. But most times, the ring of fire goes right along the middle plate there in the Philippines. But now we've got all this action on the right side, going up through Mariana's Trench, up the left side through India. Straight out through Turkey and Greece, and the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. So this is large tectonic plate movement. Stay aware and prepared and have a plan. Anywhere around the world can expect a devastating earthquake, especially with our collapsed magnetosphere and incoming space weather. Let's get to weather, brought to you by Meteor Earth and Meteor Mike. Five-day forecast showing seasonable temperatures here in Calgary but later in the week watch for those cold temps to return and possibly five centimeters of snow so yeah enjoy that warm weather while you can and it was pretty much today it reached 18 degrees Celsius across southeastern United States high pressure ridge moving in going to be dry for a few days That'll be nice because we've had flooding conditions all across the southeastern United States. As well, looking across the Pacific Ocean, still very large low pressure systems bombarding the Alaskan Peninsula and Kamchatka and Russia and through into the Barren Strait. These storms are going. And here is Tropical Cyclone Trevor on the right here. And look at that thing just head across Australia, the continent, like it's nothing. So it's going to be penetrating the continent at a, as a Category 4. And it'll diminish to a tropical depression, maybe by the time it hits the middle of the continent. When he had Savannah there hitting the northwest region. We also have another storm forming another cyclone forming just east of Madagascar so things are really starting to ramp up as we've had increased space weather and now spring equinox is upon us tomorrow heavy rains in Peru and Chile I want to thank you all for watching today this has been Mike with Morning Dew daily events worldwide Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.
Thank you.